everybody. How are you? I hope you all are having a really great May. It is May 2018 and it's time for my project for Cindy Utter and it's Explorations of Me and the prompt that we were given were the four different seasons, um, which is your favorite and why. And of course we have our four different seasons being um, spring, summer, fall, and winter. So if I had to look at those um, at those months, I'd have to say summer is my favorite because um, even though during the holidays we spend a lot of time together, but I just find our time together is much more enjoyable and much more spontaneous during the summer months. And when I think back to the summer months, both when my boys were little um, and now that I have grandchildren, um, I look at uh, the summertime and the fun that we have. And um, so I'd like to kind of put a piece together of um, the summertime and um the part of summer that brings me a lot of joy and I hope it sparks some memories from you or I'm sorry some memories for you of what you did as a kid during summer um, during the summer months um, either what you did as a kid um, or what you've done um, with your kids or what you have done with your grandkids. So I have some tape down here. I'm really trying to keep in frame. I've rearranged my camera up here a little bit to try and keep my head out of the way. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of cardstock and I put some black gesso on it. I also have put some painter's tape on it so it doesn't um, move away um, on me too badly. So I'm just going to lay these down right here. Now, I use my homemade black gesso on this project. And it is the same recipe that I use for my white gesso. The only difference is instead of using white paint, I use black paint. And I notice I have some drippage on here. Um, and if... If I have some extra black dye laying around, like, um, you know, um, oh, what do you call these things? Now watch me try and open this drawer here, and it's all going to fall on top of me. Wrong drawer. Well, you know, um, like your Dr. P.H. Martin, you know, or inks like that. If you can squirt a couple extra inks in there, or if you have any black printer ink, um, you can throw some drops of that in there. Um, and like I said, I keep it, you know, in here. These were 99 cents at, at Walmart. You know what? And they're just, you put your hand on here and you just give it a good shake. I always suggest when you use, well, actually any um, product, that you just give it a good shake before you use it. But now I just want to um, share my project with you. Um, we're going to do some embossing. So, I have not used this before, so this is going to be an experiment for both of us. First of all, um, I, like I said, I went ahead and used my black gesso, and I put two coats down just to make sure it stayed really good in black. And I'll get a few things together here for you. I am going to be using... Gina Aaron's Wild Heart Set 13. Can you see that? I hope the glare's not too bad from the bag. I'm sorry. But anyway, I'll um, link it in the description below. And you can pick this up at her Etsy shop. And oh, by the way, um, whenever you go to the Etsy shop, um, I have a discount code in the description below. So anything that you purchase from Gina's um, Etsy shop, if you use my discount code, you will get a discount. So bonus. 
Okay, I had everything all set here. We're going to be doing some um, embossing. Now, I was told, like I said, I've never used this before, that this helps with the um, embossing process. So I'm just gonna wrap, kinda pat this on here like this. Okay, and I do have a fluffy brush here to take away the excess. Okay, and so I'm using the jar, which is this one right here. I'm going to use this, and I'm going to use my Versamark watermark stamp pad. And I'm just going to give this a real good coating. Sorry if that's on camera, but you know, I'm just, I'm just giving a good coating, like I said, of my Versa mark on here because my, um, I really want my, my embossing powder to stick really well. And I'm just going to kind of stick this. I want to ground. It's kind of hard to ground a jar, but I'm just going to kind of stick this right here. And I'm going to press down. Now, normally I would have my um, pressing my uh, stamping plate underneath here, but I think we'll be okay. I'll just give it a really good extra push. And remember, whenever you're, um, whenever you are stamping, embossing, whatever, remember you want to bring it straight up. And I don't know if you can see. Well, yeah, you can kind of see right in here. You know, this is, uh, I have a, uh, oh, this is painter's tape on the back to keep it straight, but you can see the nice imprint that that left. Okay, let's get this back down so we're in frame. Now I'll come back up again anyway, so I don't know what I'm... Now some people swear by this. I'm going to take their word for it. I've never really used it before, but... People swear by it, and I think I'm going to be doing some more embossing in my projects. So let's get I need a piece of white paper, and oh, before I start this, this is super fine detail embossing powder in silver by Ranger. Um, I think the super fine uh, leads it to be a little bit more, um, not quite as chunky. I've seen some that some embossing powders that tend to be a little bit chunky. I don't want that. Okay, so now that I've thoroughly covered my um, area. I might have to fix that afterwards. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to. Oh, yeah, I like that. Now, see the thing, the reason why I see they do that is because now the embossing, there isn't any flakes. There isn't anything left over. Sometimes when you emboss, you'll get little pieces that stick. I see that that's not there. I will clean that up in a moment, but first things first, so we don't have any dumpage. I'm just going to put that back in there, put my lid on this so I do not dump it because I am a cluck. Okay, now I'm going to Stick this back on here. And, 
And now, if I can get my chair to get off of there. Sometimes my chair, um, the wheel runs over the cord for my, um, for my embosser, my, uh, my heat tool, my recollections. All right, so let's give this some emboss. Okay, it's just dawned on me that some of you may have never seen embossing before, especially metallic embossing. So I'm going to bring you in, and this is as far in as I can get, get my camera to go. And I'm going to just, whoa, try and not drop my heat tool. And I'm going to show you how to emboss. I'm just going to bring this in close. You see that change? Voila. I now have a silver jar. All right, I'm just going to fix this kind of on the back because I really would like it to stick. This is really kind of late at night for me. Um, the night before Mother's Day, I wanted to get this done a little bit earlier, but um, my husband was home and my son came home. And all right now, I'm just going to kind of dust some of this off. And you know, hmm, I may even take a little. I'm really not getting any paint up, so let's just kind of make sure we don't have any more of that. It's basically cornstarch in a bag, I think that's what that is. All right. And give this a quick dry and back you out. Okay, that's done. What does Cool down for just a second. Now, what I want to do, I think, is I would like to write my sentiment before I go on. So I'm going to well, you're still kind of sorry. Like I said, I have my camera set up a little bit different because I really don't think you want to see my head in the camera frame. I'm going to be using a white Posca pen. And now, of course, I'm going to bring you in a little bit more. Okay. more important for you to see what's going on right here right now than what's going to be going on below. All right. I wrote this myself. So this is my own words. Here we go.
Okay. And what this says is warm summer nights, fireflies float by like midnight fairies lighting up the night sky. And that was um, one of my favorite things um, when my boys were little. I need a drink. Hold on. Just 7-Up or Sprite, whatever. Sorry. A little dry. Let me pull you out. One of our favorite things was when we were camping, because we were very, very poor when the boys were young. Um, one of our favorite things was camping, so we love to watch the fireflies. I'm going to dry this up real quick. Okay. So that was one of my favorite things when we were when the kids were little, was that we would take them camping, and that they would um, catch fireflies and watch the fireflies. And now that my boys are all grown up, I really get a kick out of watching um, my grandchildren run around and catch fireflies at night. So now what I'm going to do, and you know, I know kids have bedtimes, but you know what people, in the summertime, you only get to raise a child once. You have one chance, one chance. And if you don't get it right, you blow it. And it's, it's just, just not worth it. So you know what? Summer's almost here. It's going to be here in just a few more weeks. Take the time to spend with your kids to develop those memories and those traditions so that they can carry those traditions on to their kids. It's not going to kill them to stay up a little bit late to when the sun goes down so that they can watch the fireflies. Um, I just, you know, life's too short to be worried about a freaking bedtime during summer. And I'm looking for a baby wipe. <laughs> I'm thankful that my son does not do that during the summer. I understand on school nights that's totally different. But when you're on summer break, I'm sorry, but your babies need to be out catching fireflies because someday they will take their kids out to catch fireflies. So right now I'm just going to take some neon yellow paint. Just like this. I'm going to make some fireflies because what's the one thing kids like to do with the fireflies? Put them in a jar. But seriously. It was the most fun. And you know, where we live right now, before they started all the construction on the new homes that they're building behind us, uh, I need some more paint here. Um, it was a cornfield and, and a, well, one year it would be a cornfield, the next year it would be a um, soybeans. But when he had the soybean fields, and if you looked out, it's the coolest thing in the world was to see the whole field just lit up with fireflies. It was so cool. So you know what? Create a memory with your kids. Take them out to watch the fireflies at night. Um, they're just amazed and mesmerized by them. And teach them not to be afraid of them, please, because they really won't hurt anything. They're just fireflies or lightning bugs. As my youngest used to say when he was little, they were yightning bugs.
All right, let me drag this up a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is all dried up and I'm just going to do a border around what I wrote and I'm going to go in and make it kind of scribbly after I get it. I want to make sure I don't run into any of my little fireflies. And this is just a um, yellow Posca pen. Posca paint pen. But again, I hope you take the time this summer with your young ones. Teach them not to be afraid because there's really nothing to be afraid of with these little guys. They're absolutely adorable. Alright, so I'm just going to make some doodles here around the um, outline of my quote. And yes, hey, guess what? That's my own quote. I made that up. Sometimes I surprise myself. But there's that. So this is my project my, for the month of May for um, Explorations of Me. Ooh, I need to bring you, there we go, Ooh. warm summer nights, fireflies float by like midnight fairies lighting up the night sky. I think it turned out beautiful. And it just, for me, it brings back so many memories. And then it, thinks, then it makes me think to myself, you know what? Create some memories with your kids this summer. You know, um, keep them up past their bedtimes. It won't hurt them. Um, take them out and let them see the fireflies. Give them jars um, and let them chase the fireflies and catch them in little jars and let them see how much fun they are. So I hope you like my um, take on Cindy's uh, prompt for the month of May. My favorite time of year is summer because for us, we are able to have more spontaneous time as a family and that's really important. And um, happy rest of May. And it's already really Mother's Day because it's like 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I just couldn't sleep. I had a really bad headache and I slept half my day away. So I'm filming now. But as I said, remember, be nice to somebody. It's really not that hard. Have a great night and have a great Mother's Day. Bye-bye, everybody.